Welcome to 574 Sports. My name is Tanner Camp, and to my left here we have Jill Steinmetz, senior track runner for the uh, Goshen College track team. She's this week's Maple Leaf Athlete of the Week. That week, Jill had two second place finishes, including in the 800 meter run. She posted a time of 2 minutes and 34 seconds, along with the 1500 meter run. She had her collegiate best 5 minutes and 8.38 seconds. Wow, Jill. First off, congratulations on being Maple Leaf Athlete of the Week. Thank you. So how does it feel for you being this week's Maple Leaf Athlete of the Week? Um, it's great to have this sort of recognition for the work that I do in athletics. It's fun. And it is, you know, most importantly, having fun while doing uh, something you really love but also competing at a very good level. So uh, going into your senior year, uh, what was your mindset for this upcoming track season? Well, I was pretty excited for the season, it being my last collegiate season. Um, and I've been running track for a number of years now. So um, I've had my ups and downs in times and um, just like how much I enjoy it. And so I had two goals for the season. One was to, en to enjoy myself and to stay healthy. And the other one was to compete. And um, I've so far been doing both of those. And it's great that, you know, having fun is an important aspect for you because that's something that a lot of athletes sometimes forget. So it's glad that it looks like you're having fun while doing something that you also really love. So we, we talked a little bit before you, the only senior on the women's side, at least, and one of three seniors in general. So that can be tough sometimes, you know. So what motivates you, whether it be the team or just yourself, what motivates you uh, to compete at such a high level like you did this week at the Huntington Invitational? Um, well, I've had my fair share of being an underclassman as well, and I always looked up to the upperclassmen who were putting in a lot of work and a lot of time into their, um, their athletics, and I want to be that good example for them as well and show them how working really hard has its um, payoff towards the end. And the harder you work, the more success you have, the more fun you have. It's kind of, it all goes together. So I really enjoy it and um, enjoy my teammates and having a good time while also being extremely competitive, so. And from hearing from other teammates, getting to talk to them, they said that you are a great leader just for that aspect of uh, being competitive, but also having fun and enjoying each other's company at meets during practices. It really is great to see uh, you as that type of leader. So. You talked also a little bit about that you had a bunch of goals and one of them just being having fun and staying competitive and giving it your best. So uh, again, as a senior wanting to kind of go out both individually but also for a team, what would you say that the team's goal, maybe specifically for the women's side, what was the uh, women's track and field team, what was their goal for this season? Um, yeah, so we've readdressed goals as we've gone along and our current goal for the end of the season is to finish ahead of the men's team at conference, um, which we haven't done in about 10 years at least. Um, I think that our women's side is very strong and we will do a lot of great things at conference, which is here in two weeks now. So um, we're looking to compete, we're looking to score points. And you know a lot of competitive uh, athletes for all both women's and men's side, and that kind of that uh, competitiveness to go against, not even go against the men, but just try to do better than them mm -hmm. uh, is great motivation. So again, we really look forward to that. As you said, conference within the next two weeks. Mm -hmm. So uh, when I normally ask this question, it's for uh, people who are going to be seniors or are still going, but you know, just in just a few weeks, that'll be it for you. So what has been your favorite moment as a track runner? Uh, over your last few years uh, representing Goshen College? Oh, um, we've had a number of fun relays and 
some of our relay squads have been kind of thrown together where someone who doesn't usually run that event jumps in and gives it their best. And so we had a good one last year at conference where we got to score some points with that relay, even though some of the runners had never really ran that distance. So that was, that was a high point. And this season, cutting off time for my 1500 has felt really good as well. And glad that you could do that in this last meet, and of course, well-deserving for the Maple Leaf Athlete of the Week, which again, big congratulations on. So as we start getting closer, you know, conference is just ahead, just a few more meets left, and then that's it. What are you looking forward to within these next few weeks as you get closer and closer to graduating from GC? Um, I think, like, spending time with my teammates at practice. Like, I look forward to practice every day. I think that's really fun. I'm excited for the meets, too, and that's where we can, like, show off what we – all the hard work that we do throughout the week, but um, our workouts are really great and I am really enjoying the team aspect. So just enjoying the last couple of weeks of competitive training. And very exciting, you know, to as someone who's seen you guys practice every once in a while, we always tell you you're having fun and motivating each other to get better. Again, even with just a few weeks left to give it your absolute all so you can go out with your senior year with, uh, a big bang basically. Mm -hmm. So Jill, with that, do you have any final thoughts, comments, inspirational quotes that you want to give? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> uh. um, just keep working hard, do your best. That's kind of what we say before practice every day too. Just work hard today, work hard tomorrow, do your best, have fun. Heard it from Jill Steinmetz. You work that for everything, sports, <laughs> academics, everything. Jill, thank you so much for your time, really appreciate it. Thanks, Tanner. With Joe Steinmetz, I'm Tanner Camp here on 574 Sports.